team leader and was a synchro leader in 2017. He is also a qualified typhoon pilot, qualified Hawk T2 instructor and was also a qualified instructor on the Takano, where he was a Takano display pilot in 2010. But as the team bend around to the left, the smoke comes on for the eight arrow present. Keep your camera strained on the formation for a dynamic six change. As the seven and eight form a rollback to change the shape of eight arrow into Vixen. As the team bend around to the right, you'll see the Vixen shape with all the aircraft now in short diamonds. Clearly as a nine shape we'd have an aircraft at the back forming our trademark diamond shape. This year we are playing as an eight. You may have seen the video from OC Raff explain the reason why. We can only take three, year, three new pilots each year for supervision reasons and therefore the maths just didn't work out to go to a nine this year. However our aim is to do a nine next year as the team bend around to the right for the victim roll. As the team rolls to the left, on the right hand side of Red 1 is Red 2, Preston Rich Walker. Rich is in his first year on the team, a very experienced aviator, has flown both Harrier and Typhoon on operations, and is also a qualified flying shooter on the Hawk Team Mark 2. As I said earlier, there are over 140 personnel on the squadron, and those support personnel are the Blues, so-called due to the colour of their blue overalls that they wear. And they are the engineers, the administrators, and the technicians that keep the aircraft and all the Red Arrows machine moving. The smoke comes on from Reds 4 and 5 as they make their way back to the rear of the formation. And for those familiar with the Red Arrows, a very familiar shape for the Apollo. Red one bringing the formation around to the right. Get your cameras ready for the Apollo loop. Once again, the team pulling up at over four to five G, 400 miles per hour as they reach a height of over five and a half to six thousand feet. However, this, the aircraft will slow down to approximately 120 miles an hour, which makes the response to the controls a little bit less responsive, making formation treatment a little bit more difficult. The aircraft now increasing in speed 200, 300, 400 miles per hour, which now makes the controls even more responsive and more twitchy. As Red One brings the formation around to the left for the Apollo presents. On the left hand side of Red One is Red Three, Flight Lieutenant Tom Hansford. Tom is in his fifth year and the former Titan Pilot Flame, modified weapon instructor. This meant he taught the frontline tactics and weapons instruction technicians to the rest of the formation, the Typhoon Force. Red 2 and 3 smoke as the whole formation make their way to the rear of the main formation to sit just behind Red 6 to form the shape known as Eagle, the second of our space themed shapes. You can see that Red 4 and 5 are all the way at the back of the formation. It's extremely difficult for them because all formation references are now taken off Red 1, not necessarily the individual who's on the inside of them. Being so far back, it's really hard for them to keep an eye on Red 1 and to ensure that they maintain formation as they present the Eagle. Two of our space team shapes to acknowledge the fact that the RAFC space is an important part in their military operations. And we now have space expansion formed in 2021. In 2022, it became, it achieved its initial operation capability. Once again, four and five smokers, they move up alongside red two and three nestled just behind red six with red seven and eight inch rail. This year, the Royal Air Force celebrated the anniversary of Up Ch Chastise. This is that famous mission made famous by that famous squadron 617, the Dam Busters, who of course still fly in the Royal Air Force today. 
with the new Lightning based at Royal Air Force Marum. Get your cameras ready once again for the Lightning Loop. As the aircraft rolls to the left, just see on the right hand side is Red 4, Flight Attendant Ollie Suckling. Ollie's in his first year on the team, a former Tornado to your 4 pilot and former Hawk T2 qualified flying instructor. Those familiar with air shows will have known Ollie Suckling as a pilot on the North Wales based Strike Master pair. His opposite number on the left hand side is Flight Attendant Patrick Kershaw, known as Paddy. Paddy is in his second year on the team, former Red 3 from last year. He is also flown Typhoon and Tornado on operations. And on the Typhoon, he flew with 11 and 12 squadron at Royal Air Force Coningsby. The call is made as Red 7 moves to the left and Red 8 moves to the right, with Red 6 just behind Red 1. This puts all the odd numbers on the left hand side and all the even numbers on the right hand side. they come right and left and therefore they put their input in earlier than the guys on the inside. This then gives the shape of the wing to move as one rather than a ripple effect down the line of the wing. And as I said this is why it accounts for Red One for their ro almost robotic type of way of giving their instructions. You'll see now that 7-8 are sitting on trail of the main formation for one of the most popular if not the most popular manoeuvre that the Red Arrows do. Once again, get your cameras, your video cameras, and everything else you got ready as the Red Arrows ride the storm in the tornado. <laughs> Red 1 gives the command for Red 7 and 8 to roll and 7 calls aboard as 7 and 8 roll around the rest of the formation. Of course Red 1 doesn't want to make it too easy for the rest of the team so in a second he will bring the formation around to the right and the colour comes on. This makes the job of 7 and 8 rolling around the rest of the formation even more difficult as Red 1 bends round to the right. Famous five from the children's series book. And you have red six, seven, and eight in trail. They are now known as Hannah. Named after squad leader Ray Hannah, one of the most famous Royal Air Force and Red Arrows pilots. And it was squad leader Ray Hannah who was attributed to making the team from a seven to a nine, and is also attributed for forming our trademark Diamond Nine formation. However, look directly to your front, you can see the nose like twinkling in the distance. Get your cameras ready for the detonator.
as Enid gather, the smoke comes on, the colour comes on, as Red One brings them round to left. You can see that smoke point underneath the aircraft, that smoke point is capable of producing five minutes of white smoke, four minutes of red smoke, and four minutes of blue smoke. Each colour is selectable by an individual button on the pilot's control column. The two hour winter training, the display and the colours are all specially and carefully choreographed to ensure that we have the right colour at the right time in the display and that we actually don't run out. This is all coordinated between Red 1 and Red 6. As Enid leads up directly to your front and you can see the synchro pair running in with Red 7 in trail on Red 6. But again, one of the most popular manoeuvres the Red Arrows do. They split, the smoke comes on. Get your cameras ready for the Synchro Heart. Red One would like to dedicate today's heart to his family, his wife Danielle, his son Seb and his daughter Eleanor who are here today. Coming in the top left you have Red Eight. He has drawn the spear. a former Tornado GR4 pilot who was a Royal Demo pilot in 2012. He also flown the Harrier and the F5 while exchanged in the United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, give Hannah a massive round of applause for a heart. therefore leaving a snake-like trail in the sky in a manoeuvre we like to call the Python. As the aircraft come round to the right, you can see the iconic shape of the Hawk C-1 aircraft. Supersonic in a dive. If you ask any of the pilots that have flown the Hawk 1, they akin it to a very agile and enjoyable sports car to fly, which makes it absolutely perfect for the job that we do in the Red Arrows. Once again, they pass within 100 feet of the other. Each aircraft is up to an eight on roll. They will then pull off at 5 to 6 G. All controlled by Red 6 for the timing speed before they are 60 degrees nose down. They will roll the correct way up, pass once again in the middle as they complete the boomerang. Get your cameras ready for the Enid Coronation Vertical Break. Four and five. 
Play at go, the comb is called, and there's four or five roll around two and three in the rollback, which are one of the hardest maneuvers for a new pilot each year to master. Smoking red. Get your cameras ready as the HANA completes Vortex for the HANA break. The red comes on from red one as he rolls around the rest of the formation, leaving the infinity symbol in the sky in the infinity break. For Midlands, it has been an honour and a pleasure to perform for you. Please put your hands together for the 2023 Red Arrow.